tell us something about your early life, your childhood? Yeah. So I was born in Bangalore, which is, uh, for me, now that I'm into nutrition, I call it city of carbs, you know, with idlis, dosas, and there's so much rice available. So now I relate it to a city of Kaab. That's my hometown. That's where I was born in a joint family. And uh, being in a Marwadi joint family, food was in abundance. We used to have these late night uh, mango sessions and, you know, the, the like how typical Marwadi families late night they're eating and all that. Mm-hmm. At that time, I did not like growing up. It was uh, all about food in our family, a lot of it. So, uh, but I was always and always interested in fitness because, you know, my, uh, my uh, cha-cha, the, my uncle, he got me into karate when I was 11 and he's a national shooter at present. So, right. he's the one who got me interested into fitness and I started running during my college years mm-hmm. with, because I used to live very close to Lalbagh. Okay. So, that was, uh, you know, whenever I used to get stressed from studies, I used to just go for a run. So, that was, uh, that was my active meditation, actually. That's how I put it. Running was my active medici- meditation. So I got really interested uh, in fitness. And uh, then I got married uh, to another uh, food lover who's a North Indian. So you can imagine the South Indian and a North Indian. Like we were all uh, late night parties and, uh, you know, uh, traveling. All that became a big part of our life without uh, realizing that what late night food and uh, drinking and all that, how it was playing on my uh, body. Mm-hmm. And uh, in after a few years when I got my blood levels tested and I got to know that I'm pre-diabetic, I would like to share that, um, you know, my parents uh, have been diabetic. So okay. uh, when I got to know this, it was a big shock, you know, because I used to run uh, like uh, throughout my, uh, when I turned 17, I think I started running and um, I just failed to understand that how is it possible that, you know, with my level of exercise and fitness, how can I, how can I be pre-diabetic? But mm-hmm. then um, I got to know when I got like, you know, deeper into this, I, I studied a lot. I got to know that genetics play a big role and yeah. you can reverse this by nutrition if you change your lifestyle, if you change your food habits. Mm-hmm. So later when, when I got into the depth, I realized that hours of exercise is not going to help me. I need to look at nutrition and I need to look at my food habits and I need to do major changes in that. That is when I got interested in nutrition and uh, I got a cert- I became a certified health coach and I've been helping a lot of people on their journey because uh, this is something really close to my heart, especially, uh, you know, uh, when you're pre-diabetic or type 2 diabetes, I really feel when I could reverse it with my food habits, there is always a possibility for everybody, you know, you don't have to live with it. If you If you have the courage to make the changes, you can go for it. Okay.